back to the blessed family. It's your girl, Diddy Love, back with another video. Yo, let me stop, y'all. I know I'm really hyper right now. And y'all might hear a lot of noise in the background because I'm at my parents' house, so everybody's here. So, yeah, I'm going to try to get this video up. So, basically, what I wanted to do, wait, 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 wait. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Go ahead and like the video. Join the blessed family, you guys. Hit the subscribe button, like, do all that good stuff. Comment if you like. And, uh, yeah. Now, let's get into this video. Well, let's get into, I guess we can say let's get into the video. All right, so today is going to be a pregnancy update. I really wanted to do a, a life update. That might be another video because there's a lot of stuff I've been going through and just so much to talk about. So, we'll see. I'm just talk, let y'all know what's up, and then I'll just make a title <laughs> after that. So, if y'all want to know what's been going on with me and this pregnancy in my life, keep watching. So, today, or I will be 29 weeks Thursday, and today is Tuesday, and I am recording this video. So, your girl is 28 weeks pregnant, y'all. 28 weeks pregnant <laughs> with my first boy ever. And, like, y'all know, if you remember, last pregnancy, I would complain and say, I'm about to get my tubes tied. I'm going to get my tubes tied. I'm tired of being pregnant. I'm tired of being pregnant. Well, your girl ended up pregnant again. And I'm actually happy because, for one, I got my boy this time. And if I would have got my tubes tied, I would have never got pregnant again. Well, I guess you can get pregnant again. But, so, it was everything worked out how it was supposed to work out. And I really don't even believe in getting my tubes tied, but the type of person I am, um, I didn't have a lot of kids. I think it's time to stop. Definitely time to stop. I did not see myself being pregnant again. Okay, these last two times I was pregnant, I did not see even see myself being pregnant again or getting pregnant again. So, this is crazy. So, basically, like I said, I'm 28 weeks pregnant. My ribs are broke. Like, my ribs are literally broke. My baby is super active. Like, he moves a lot. Like, at first, he would just have, like, a little pattern, right? Well, he'll move at night. He'll be up at night. Now, he moves all the time. Through the day, through the night, all the time. And let me tell you, this boy can eat. He makes me eat everything I'm not supposed to eat. All I do is crave Dr. Pepper. Pe Pepsi, I crave that stuff. I crave hot Cheetos, hot wings. All the bad stuff. That was how I was with Brielle, too. My last pregnancy. Well, my last, last pregnancy. Um, all I did is crave spicy stuff. Tacos is, like, my favorite thing. Nachos is one of my favorite things. Chicken, fried. Whatever it is, as long as it's fried, I'm happy. Like, breakfast is, like, my favorite thing. I'm a breakfast girl. I love breakfast. If you want to surprise me, take me out to breakfast. That's something that I really, really like. Sorry, y'all. I got a phone call, and I really don't know where I left off at. I just know that I crave a lot of different things, like a lot of bad food, a lot of caffeine. I crave coffee, all the snacks, but I'm more of a food eater, like actual food, like dinner, steak, you know, mashed potatoes, corn, chicken, all that stuff. With my girls, I was always craving sweet stuff. With this baby, I crave pretty much everything, but mostly real food, and I get a sweet tooth every now and then. So, yeah. Um... And, yeah, I want to say my baby is as, big as, is as big as the papaya. I might be wrong. I don't have my other phone charged to look it up and stuff like that because I am recording on my phone right now. Um, yeah, it's just more convenient for me right now. Hold on so I can show y'all how big my stomach is. So y'all see, it's pretty big and, uh, yeah. So, waiting on baby Bryce to come. I'm due October 22nd, so I still have a long way. Like I said, today is only August 4th. So, we got a long time. My next doctor's appointment is August 12th. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I had went to the doctor July 29th. And I got my glucose test done. Y'all know what that is. They check for diabetes. And... I didn't have no diabetes or nothing like that. Or, yeah, all my tests I took came back good and stuff like that. So he's pretty healthy, no preeclampsia this time, no high blood pressure. I'm just pregnant and big. That's it. 
So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I can say about the baby. Now we can talk to y'all about the life update. I had like got into it with my landlord like back in January. I was not staying in the house no more because it was just damaged, had rodents and a lot of problems. So I end up telling her I didn't want to be in the house and then she wants to write up an eviction to make me get out the house or whatever. So I've actually been um like I don't have my own house right now. So I don't want to say homeless because I have people and family that, like or I can spend a night instead and stuff like that. But basically that's what it is. So I've been looking for a place. All the COVID stuff has just slowed slowed everything down. So I was pregnant. Then you know people don't like to really hire you while you're pregnant. I'd be tired and hurting. So I really couldn't go back to work. So um yeah, so that's you know that's been crazy. And then Bryce was out of work with the COVID stuff. And now he's just now back in work. And so hopefully we can find somewhere to go, find a new place, and then we will get this channel back popping. Like videos, challenges, and all that good stuff. But we just had a standstill right now. You know, God is still here for us. He's still blessing us. And, you know, we're still here. We're still healthy, not sick. I thank God for that. So now it's time for me and Bryce to really get on the grind. Do what we got to do. Like figure out if we're going to really be together or if we're not. Take two next step, get married, and do right, live life right how it's supposed to be. Not just be playing around, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so at this point in time, we are getting stuff together slowly. <laughs> so, pray for us. Why? I pray for y'all that we get stuff back right. And I know we will. It just takes time. And like I said, all this, the world is going crazy. A lot of stuff is just at a standstill. So, yeah. So... I should be talking to y'all. I got some good videos coming up for y'all. Some real life, um, real life videos. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow. EBT with my food stamps. So y'all probably don't know, but yes, your girl gets food stamps. I get all the assistance I can get. I have six daughters. So, um, yeah. So you want to know about that? How it is? <laughs> I can start doing videos on that. Like I never really talk to y'all about what my life really is, how my life is and what I go through. So I just figure I want to open up to y'all. You know what I'm saying? And my birthday's Friday. So I'll be 29, y'all. Like 29? Oh my gosh, I'm almost 30, y'all. That's my last year in my 20s. I can't believe that. And I've been pregnant all my 20s. So yeah, so my 30s, I'm not having no more kids. Like I said, I'm doing October. If it's the Lord's will, I'll be getting tired, okay? I don't want to say I'm getting tired and I don't, but I need to get tired. But yeah, y'all. So tomorrow's video will hopefully will be me, um, I don't know if I have it posted tomorrow, but I'm going to vlog me going to the store, a haul, EBTS food steps. So I'm not ashamed to say it. It's supposed to help you, you know, while you're down. And yeah, I'm not the type of woman who wants to be on food steps or stay on it, but it helps me right now. It's helping me and my kids right now. So that's what it's for. Not to stay on it, not to be happy on food steps, but to help you. A stepping stone for you to make it to the next, to the top. And that's what I'm going to do, make it to the top. So if you, if you are struggling or Get assistance. Ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Use your assistance up until you get on your feet. Don't make it a goal to stay on food steps or stay on assistance. Get on your grind and get off of it, okay? Because that's what, you know, it's there to help. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to start doing real life videos for y'all. I'm going to let y'all know what it is, what it ain't, and, yeah, so. But, I guess that concludes the video. I just wanted to update y'all, talk to y'all a little bit, and let y'all know what's going on, so. So yeah, y'all gonna get some real life vlogs, some good vlogs. The struggle, y'all gonna get to see it and stuff like that. And excuse the noise, y'all, because it's my little kids in here and my little sisters. So apologize for that. But make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, join the blessed family. I love y'all so much. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.